Hello friends and welcome back! If you've been on my page before, you've probably seen a couple of my Stardew Valley videos. I'm a pretty big fan of Concerned Ape's work, so when I found out he was making a new game, I was very excited. Concerned Ape hasn't announced anything for about a year, and he wants to keep it a surprise. But let's review some of the things that he has told us. Here's a summary of one of the very first updates he gave us on Haunted Chocolatier on hauntedchocolatier.net on October 8th, 2021. Hey everyone, after dedicating 10 years of my life to Stardew Valley and counting, the time has finally come to announce my next game. It's called Concerned Apes Haunted Chocolatier. In Stardew Valley, the focus was more humble, living off the land, growing food, and connecting to the people and nature around you. However, with my next game, I wanted to explore more fantastical possibilities, experiences that take you beyond the ordinary. That's where magical haunted ghost chocolate comes in. Chocolate represents that which is delightful. The haunted castle represents the allure of the unknown. The ghosts represent the imprint of the past. All of these things are important. However, don't think for a moment that because this game features ghosts in a haunted castle, it is evil or negative game. On the contrary, I intend for this game to be positive, uplifting, and life-affirming. However, if Stardew Valley mostly channeled the energy of the sun, Haunted Chocolatier channels the energy of the moon. Both are vital. Now, you might be scratching your head, wondering exactly what type of game this is. I'm not sure how to best describe it. It's evolving organically as I develop it, so I'm not sure where it will go. But at its core, the gameplay loop involves gathering ingredients, making chocolate, and running a chocolate shop. Of course, there's a lot more to the game than that, but I don't want to get too deep into it at this early stage, partly because I don't want to be tied down to any particular concept of what the game is. While the video I put together may look like the game is at an advanced stage of development, there is still a ton of stuff to do. The way I like to work, things often don't come together until the final moments. I tend to work with a vertical slice approach, and so it's easy to put together some videos that look like a finished game, but there's a ton of content I still need to make. So please understand that it will be a while before this game is done. I'm going to be working on it as much as I can though. Haunted Chocolatier, from the looks of it, definitely has a similar pixel art style and layout to Stardew Valley that we all know and love. And if this music is anything like the music in the trailer video, then I'm super excited, as I love the little sneak peek we got and I love the Stardew Valley DLC. It sounds like Haunted Chocolatier will have more of a focus on combat. However, it's not the same combat as in Stardew. In his second update on October 30th, 2021 on hauntedchocolatier.net, Concerned Ape stated this, Haunted Chocolatier has a greater focus on combat, so it needs to be very fun, satisfying, and engaging, while also appropriately fitting into the big picture. You can rest assured that I'm not copying and pasting Stardew's combat. On the contrary, almost everything in Haunted Chocolatier, including the combat, is completely coded and drawn from scratch. You may have noticed this from the earlier video footage, but there are shields in this game. Many attacks can be blocked with a shield, and in most cases, blocking an attack causes the enemy to become stunned. While an enemy is stunned, you can attack them much faster. If you followed Stardew's development, you might know that I like to keep my cards close to my chest. I prefer to leave many things to be discovered by players. I think it's more fun that way. I want to surprise and delight people, but if they already know everything in the game, that takes a certain element out of the final experience. The last update we got from Concerned Ape was December 25th, 2021. He assures everyone he is working on the game, but would like to keep a lot of it secret, so it will be a splendid surprise for everyone when the game does officially get released. It's been just over a year since we got an update last, and there is no current official release date. However, I am more than happy to be patient and wait for the surprise. I know Concerned Ape will not disappoint, and he will release the game when he feels he is ready. You can keep up to date with Haunted Chocolatier news on hauntedchocolatier.net, at Haunted Choco on Twitter, or Concerned Ape's personal Twitter, at Concerned Ape. I'll also be doing my best to have up-to-date news, so if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not watching me over on Twitch, then what are you waiting for? Come join on Twitch, twitch.tv slash theanimeathlete. I'm live almost every night, play a lot of Stardew, and when Haunted Chocolatier comes out, I'll be playing a lot of Haunted Chocolatier as well. Thank you all so much for watching, and have a good rest of your night.
However, if Stardew Valley... <coughs> However, if Stardew Valley was mostly channeled... Haunted Chocolatier... Haunted Chocolatier, from the looks of it, definitely has a similar pixel art style and layout to Stardew Valley. Haunted Chocolatier, from the looks of it, definitely has a similar pixel style. It sounds like Haunted Chocolatier will have more of a focus on combat, however, it's not the same. It's been just over a year since we got an update last, and there's no. 